And then, yes, this is the Triumph PR6. Mm. It does a hundred oh, miles an hour and has a petrol injection engine. And looking at a red counter. The Cometer, my dear. Uh, excuse me, but the Triumph 1500 has an eight light warning system. And that deep, perforated seat. Ventilator, Gwen. That's nice. The seats are perforated in the 1500 and they can adjust to 81 different positions. A sensible size of boot. Ah, but the Triumph 1500 has a 13 cubic foot boot. We'll take the TR6. The TR6? That's <laughs> not for us. It's for our little nephew. Oh, your nephew. <laughs> That's him out there. And now, we can talk about the trading. We are your Triumph dealer. We believe in selling individual cars to individuals. Morris Marina is a beautiful car. Luxury motoring with a really sporty performance when you want it. Because Marina reliability comes from miles of grueling rally testing. Morris Marina. Beauty with the brains behind it. Life has many things to offer. One of them is the Triumph Spitfire. To the callow, impatient youth, this machine offers the polish of responsibility. To the man who's lived long and well, it offers a respite from boredom. Yes, Life has many things to offer. Get one. Goodbye. G Goodbye. I was sure scared that first day. Till me and my MG Midget made some friends. Elka. Paula. Oh, and Bonnie Jean. My MG Midget sure helped me have a lot of good memories. But old friend, it's time to move on to greener pastures. We've just been accepted in the School of Nursing. I'm home, sugar plum! Quick, the window! Darling! <laughs> sir? I, I want to test drive in a quick car. Of course, sir. Uh, perhaps the high-performance TR6. Yeah, yeah, smash it. Or maybe the Triumph Spitfire. Pretty fit. Perhaps in your case, a closed car. The Triumph 1500cc. Let's go. You'll find the twin cars make the 1500 a startling performer. You notice the elegant small nut face here? The car lighter, of course. Oh, slow ventilation keeps you comfortable under all conditions. Now that model, that is the Triumph Stag. Very powerful. Tremendous punch. Ah, you've discovered the reclining seat. <laughs> the gentleman in the Stag seems to know you, sir. A friend, perhaps? Well, he was. Perhaps you'd like to take the wheel yourself and get the feel of the car. No, no, no. Just the job. I'll take it. Give you a ring to order. Any preference for colour, sir? Ah, ça, évidemment, si tout le monde se décidait à rouler en mini, <rire> ça changerait tout. Comme la mini prend pas de place, on circulera mieux. On, on se faufilera partout. Je dis bien partout. Bien sûr, les pompes à essence seraient un peu moins fréquentées. Et puis on se garerait plus facilement, bien entendu. On partage 
peut-être même que ça coûterait moins cher. Et puis surtout, ça rendrait les gens plus aimables. Non, la mini, c'est la grande solution au problème de l'automobile. Gentlemen, start your engine. The Mini may not win at Bathurst like it used to. But what it will do is get you safely around 500 miles on two tanks full of gas. That's around 42 miles to the gallon. And while the big guns are slipping and are sliding, Minis Well, Minnie's just following its nose. décapotable qui vous attend chez un des concessionnaires de voitures sport British Leyland. In the beginning, sports cars were only for the very rich. But after World War II, along came MG and the not so very rich discovered it. Today's MGB has rack and pinion steering, race season suspension, four-speed gearbox and hefty 1798cc engine. A few reasons why the MGB is the most popular MG ever built. MG, the sports car America loved first. Allegro, the new driving force from Austin. If you'd like a nice quiet run in the new Austin Allegro, pop in and see us for a test drive. 